Hello, we're back. You're here with me, Father Al, with Confessions from the Quarantine. Confessions from the Quarantine is a social service and an advice column that is broadcast every Saturday from 2 o'clock p.m. to 2.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Today is Saturday, February 20th, season number two, episode number 36 on Confession from the Quarantine. Again, it's a social service and an advice column that is broadcast every Saturday from 2 o'clock p.m. to 2.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And on Confessions from the Quarantine, what happens is you send us your daily problems about life, about love, relationships, whatever problems that you have, send them to me, Father Al, and in return, what I will do is I will reply back the following week with a common sense solution. So again, you're here with me, Father Al, with Confessions from the Quarantine, a social service and an advice column that is broadcast every Saturday from 2 o'clock p.m. to 2.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Hey, Jody! So again, today is Saturday, February 20th, season number two, episode number 36. So let's go ahead and roll forward with the first one that I'm going to read off that I received last week. It says, Dear, hey, Terry, dear Father Al, my daughter is our youngest child. We have two sons older than she. Also, we have a mature dog. My daughter saw a puppy dog online. (laughs) Right. Uh, She came to me crying because she wanted and needed to have this puppy. The puppy cost $1,500. $1,500. Hey, Paula. I have stimulus money at this time, but don't want to spend it on the puppy if it is a passing phase. Help. Signed, Dog House Dad. All right, Dog House Dad, before I reply back to you, if by chance if you have any comments, please include those into the chat line. And after I'm done reading my piece then i'll go ahead and interject and reply with the comment that you have interjected into the chat line so again you're here with me father al with confessions from the quarantine confession from the quarantine is a social service and advice column that is broadcast every saturday from 2 o'clock p.m to 2 30 p.m pacific standard time today is saturday february 20th season number two episode number 36 so this is what i've got for dog house dad Dear Doghouse Dad. All right. So, raising a puppy is loving and very attractive to so many children, especially if it is their own puppy. Different pedigrees have different traits and characteristics. They are important to know before considering a purchase. A child easily wants a puppy to own and love and say, my puppy. However, there is much care and work to raising and training a puppy. Generally, a pedigree requires more care and protection than the American mixed puppies. The cost of breeding The value and appeal of the pedigree should also be considered. A child should know how much work is needed to love and care for a puppy before deciding to buy it. The temperament of each breed is also very important. So that's what I've got for Doghouse Dad. If by chance, if you have any comments about what I just read, you've experienced a similar problem, similar issue, please go ahead and interject that into the chat line. So today is Saturday, February 20th, season number two, episode number 36. So far, we've got Jody, we've got Terry, and we've got Paula. Thank you all for interjecting your comments or saying hi into the chat line. If by chance, if you want to interject some additional comments, you're watching the show, please feel free to do so in the chat line. I'll go ahead and read those off 
to those who are checking out the program. In the description, you're going to see two links. The first link that you're going to see is the Friend of the Father Partner Program link. And when you click that link, what that's going to do, that's going to take you to a PayPal page. And on the PayPal page, you're going to see four options available for you. You're going to see the Friend of the Father Partner open. You're going to see the Friend of the Father Partner private. And the Friend of the Father Partner program, what that does, that will help keep the phone line going and when you donate $90, a mere $90, that donation will keep the phone line active for an entire year. Yes, $90 will keep the phone line going for an entire year. So what happens is oftentimes people will call, they'll leave voice messages, hey, Father Al, I've got this problem. And then what I'll do is I will reply back with a following, uh, the following week with the Common Sense Solution. So just now, Jody chimed in and said, great tips. The age of the child is a big factor. Try to discuss the option of adopting a sheltered dog instead of a pedigree dog. There are lots of dogs in shelters that need a good home and can be a great match for your daughter. Thank you, Jody, for that. Again, if you have some additional comments you want to interject, please feel free to do so, and I will read those off as well. And back to the options, the drop-down options that I was talking about earlier. In addition to the Friend of the Father Partner uh, open, Friend of the Father Partner private, you're also going to see the Living Legacy Program. And the Living Legacy Program, that is where we'll take donated mobile devices, laptops, notebooks, we take them, and then we refurbish them and then bring them back to Factory Reset and donate them to senior citizens 65 and older. So if by chance, if you know a senior citizen that is 65 and older that needs a mobile device, especially during this whole COVID issue, please give me a call. Again, the telephone number is 623 seven six four eight eight nine three six two three seven six four eight eight nine three six two three seven six four eight eight nine three one more time six two three seven six four eight eight nine three give me a call leave a message say hey father al i've got a senior citizen that needs a mobile device i'm a senior citizen and i need a mobile device i'm 65 and older we're not going to ask you nothing about your income. Just, hey, I'm a senior citizen. I'm a senior citizen, 65 and older, and I need a mobile device. So that's all you got to do. So that's what the Living Legacy Program is about. And if you donate a financial contribution to the Living Legacy Program, what we do is we take those funds and we buy accessories for the mobile devices that we receive. Sometimes the senior citizens may want a, an external mouse, they may want an external keyboard, they may even want an external webcam, okay? So we'll take those funds and then buy those accessories. So that's what happens to your funds when you do a financial contribution to the Living Legacy Program. Again, the Friend of the Father Partner Program, that will pay for the phone line, that will pay for the still images that we use each week. We've got to buy those. So that's where your funds will go. The difference between the open and the private, when you do an open donation, we'll tell any and everybody who donated, how much they donated. When you do a private donation, we won't tell anybody nothing. So that's what the private portion of the donations is about. The other link that you're going to see in the description, you're going to see the themed merchandise link. And when you click that link, what that will do is that will take you to a cafe press page and then when you click that link you're going to go to our theme merchandise website on cafe press you're going to see all kind of themed merchandise you're going to see t-shirts coffee mugs all kind of different accessories you're going to see some accessories and themed merchandise that has the uh, friend of the father partner information that's on there as well as you're going to see some uh, theme merchandise that has the eye and a devil heart and each of the seven deadly sins, I love greed, I love lust, I love wrath, I love sloth. So if by chance, if you want to purchase some items and help us keep this program alive, please consider purchasing some items from the theme merchandise page. And when you purchase items, those funds will help 
us keep this program going. So again, you're here with me, Father Al, with Confession from the Quarantine, a social service and an advice column that is broadcast every Saturday from 2 o'clock p.m. to 2.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. All right, so next, um, I'm going to go ahead and give a quick shout out to the anonymous donor. Uh, recently, I received an, an anonymous donation from anonymous person. Okay, and that person donated a cigar ashtray to me, Father Al. So I want to showcase that. And again, thank you for that person for sending that uh, cigar tray to me. So here it is. Well, cool looking. Yeah. Uh uh uh. uh oh. So thank you, anonymous donor, for donating that cigar ashtray to me. Did a photo of it a couple of days ago to showcase it on the website, on the webpage for um, the Confession from the Quarantine on show on Facebook as well as my personal page as well. So thank you, anonymous donor, for donating the cigar uh, ashtray to me. Very nice. It was made by a company called uh, Nude. Imagine that. <laughs> so again, beautiful ashtray. And again, thank you so much, Anonymous Donor, for sending that to me. If by chance if you want to show some love to me, Father Al, and you want to donate some items to me, whether it's a lighter, uh, and if you want to donate some additional cigars, and what I'll do is I will showcase the, your donations on the show and give you a shout out as well. Again, some additional cigars, a cigar cutter, a cigar punch, uh, all kinds of stuff. So if you want to send some stuff to me, please feel free to give me a call or telephone number. You can reach me 24 hours a day. Telephone number is 623-764-8893, 623-764-8893. Again, you're here with me, Father Al with Confessions from the Quarantine, a social service and an advice column that is broadcast every Saturday from 2 o'clock p.m. to 2.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And what happens is, if by chance you have a problem and you need somebody outside of your basic scope to assist you in making a decision in life, please consider calling me. You can call me, telephone number 623-764-8893, or you can send an email to me. The email address is confessthesins at gmail.com. Okay, and on the subject line, go ahead and write, Dear Father Al, and in the body of the message, give me about 500 words or less, tell me your problems, and then what I'll do the following week, I will provide a common sense solution to you. So, that's what Confession from the Quarantine is about. Again, it's a social service and an advice column that is broadcast every Saturday from 2 o'clock p.m. to 2.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Our Facebook and Twitter handle is Confess the Sins. Our Instagram handle is official, Confess These Sins. Again, you're here with me, Father Al, with Confessions from the Quarantine, a social service and an advice column that is broadcast every Saturday from 2 o'clock p.m. to 2.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Today is Saturday, February 20th, season number two, episode number 36. After this show is over, you're going to immediately see on my face, personal Facebook page, Al Jones was live at Confession from the Quarantine. And then you can kind of watch the show again and again and again. All right. And a little later on today, I'm going to be going to a baby shower for my brother. So it'll be much later on today. You'll see another link and a rebroadcast for the YouTube version of the show. I'm going to add some additional graphics to the rebroadcast. And also, you're going to see a rebroadcast for Instagram. In the rebroadcast for the YouTube and Instagram, you're going to see the link for the Friend of the Father Partner program. You're going to see the QR code on this side of the screen. And what happens is when the QR code is displayed, you can take your phone, you can scan it, and then what it will do is it will take you to our PayPal page for you to process a contribution to the show. So Terry just checked in and said, uh, cool ashtray, very mid-century, modern, and retro. 
indeed it is it is very mid-century modern and retro is kind of cool look at to cool look to it so thank you anonymous donor for that uh, also you're going to see in the rebroadcast you're going to see the link for the themed merchandise that link is www.cafepress.com slash the one that's leading to the right confess d sins again www.cafepress.com slash confess these sins so that's what you're going to see much later on tonight so let's go ahead and roll forward with the next one the next one is says dear father al i've met someone new he and i seem to be compatible in many ways and uh, terry said congratulations to your brother all right con hey justin if you're watching congratulations to you you and laney for the baby on the way all right so back to the letter dear father al i've met someone new he and i seem to be compatible in many ways he and i have been both previously married same <laughs> he is kind and loving I would love to get remarried. We discussed intimacy. Ooh. He claims that his impotency was the root of the cause for the failure of his last marriage. He is not open to taking medication for this problem. What do I do? Signed lover all right before i reply to lover if by chance if you want to interject your comments into the chat line please feel free to do so again you're here with me father al with confession from the quarantine a social service and an advice column that is broadcast every saturday from 2 o'clock p.m to 2 30 p.m pacific standard time today is saturday february 20th season number two episode number 36 so this is what i've got for lover lover if by chance, if you really, if you're really, really interested in your partner, what I would say is I would consider investing your time and your love to your partner. Okay, as from my understanding, that um, what? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it can be a touchy. It's a real touchy subject for many. For many guys that are dealing with this and especially if he does not want to take any medication for the problem from my understanding um, impotency can be all in your mind if, to some degree some have other medical issues but it could be you know psychological uh, in his previous marriage if by chance if that was the root cause of the failure of his marriage possibly in that previous marriage uh, his his ex you know ex-wife may have said something to him uh, may have kind of laughed at him during an intimate moment he kind of pointing and laughing it said something really harsh to the guy and then it just you know stuck in his head and he, he couldn't you know, may not have been able to shake it every time he was you know intimate with with someone it just blocks it and nothing happens so if by chance if you really like this person you see some potential in this guy consider investing your time talk with him you don't have to go overboard and say oh you're the greatest thing since sliced bread yeah, none of that stuff just be kind to this person if this person's already kind to you be kind back be kind back to this person Tell them that you love them. You know, don't go overkill to make it sound fake, but just be genuine with this person. Tell them how much you love them. Tell them that you're willing to work with them and you're willing to stick this problem out. And from my understanding, it just, in many cases, you know, from my understanding, it just takes the right partner that you're with to get you through that problem of impotency so again if you're with this person and he has some issues 
with uh, impotency, again, it could be all a mental, it could be all a mental issue. He may tell you something different, but it may be all mental. Stick it out if you really like the person, if you see some potential in the relationship, please consider sticking it out with this person. And I'm hopeful that this piece of advice that I've given to you will allow you to move forward in building a happy and healthy relationship with this person that you're talking about, lover. It can be challenging. It can be very frustrating. I would correctly assume so in dealing with it. He may have some um, you know, stressful moments where he's thinking he's not good enough, he's not the right person for you, and he just may go into this whole downward spiral during intimate moments, or he may just kind of shut down in general and just say, you know, I'm not ready, I'm not ready to go there. So if you're interested in going there with this person, and you see that he may kind of waver and go that direction, just be patient with this person. And next thing you know, he may be able to snap out of that um, problem and be able to move forward with this problem. So again, you're here with me, Father Allen. Again, I'm hopeful that you, lover, you wrote into me, that you will be able to, again, find love, peace, happiness, and bliss in this new relationship that you have with this person who is having problems with impotency. So again, you're here with me, Father Al, Confession from the Quarantine, a social service and an advice column that is broadcast every Saturday from 2 o'clock p.m. to 2.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So if you by chance need somebody outside of your basic scope, to assist you in moving forward with a problem that you're experiencing in life. And again, you just need somebody outside of the exit scope to provide a common sense solution to your daily problem. Please consider contacting me, Father Al, with Confessions from the Quarantine, a social service and an advice column that is broadcast every Saturday from 2 o'clock p.m. to 2.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Today is Saturday, February 20th, season number two, episode number 36 in the description. You're going to see two links. You're going to see the friend of the father partner link. And when you click that link, you're going to go to a PayPal page and you're going to see some drop down options. You're going to see the friend of the father partner program, the friend of the father partner program. That is the program that we use to help keep the program alive and pay for the phone line that we have the 623-764-8893. When you donate to that that will help keep the program alive and help keeping that phone line going. Hey, David, thank you for checking it out. Hey, it's, uh, David says, Father Al, how you doing? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Just kind of chomp, chomping away <laughs> on this uh, what's left of this cigar. So thank you for touching base with me and thank you for uh, inputting your comments into the chat line. You, Jody, Terry, and Paula, and all of you who have checked in and said, hey, hey, Father Al, hey. <laughs> I greatly appreciate it. So again, be here with me, Father Al, with Confession from the Quarantine, a social service and an advice column that is broadcast every Saturday from 2 o'clock p.m. to 2.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Another shout out again to the anonymous donor who donated a cigar ashtray to me. So this is what I've got. It is a Torcedor oval cigar ashtray that was donated to me. So just got in the mail a couple of days ago. So I think it looks I think it looks great. I think it looks great. And again, I just recently did a uh, some skill shot of it 
with the smoking. I thought it looked real, really cool, mid-century modern. So thank you again, Anonymous Donor, for that. So again, if by chance, so they, hey, yeah, cool beans. It was cool. So if by chance you're interested in donating something to me, whether it's some additional cigars, uh, if you want to donate a, uh, a lighter, a cigar cutter, a cigar punch to me, please go ahead and give me a call. The telephone number is 623-764-8893. 623-764-8893. Or send an email to me, Father Al. The email address is confessthesins at gmail.com on the subject line right donation to father al in the body of the message saying hey father al i'm interested in donating some stuff to you it'll come to me that way i know that something's coming along in the mail and i can be prepared for it when i go to my mailbox so again you're here with me father al with confession from the quarantine a social service and an advice column that is broadcast every saturday from 2 o'clock p.m to 2 30 p.m pacific standard time today is saturday February 20th, season number two, episode number 36. So the last letter that I got, it says, Dear Father Al, I am considering taking a teaching position this spring at a new private college program. One feature they offered has me concerned. They are establishing a separate retirement plan, which is different than the Arizona State Retirement System. Okay, and I'm familiar with the Arizona State Retirement System. This is all very new to me. I taught in Arizona before and am still involved with the Arizona State Retirement System. What do I need to consider? What problem could I have? Signed, Teacher Turmoil. All right, Teacher Turmoil. That's what we're going to talk about next week. Again, you're here with me, Father Al, with Confession from the Quarantine, a social service and an advice column that is broadcast every Saturday from 2 o'clock p.m. to 2.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. If by chance, if you need somebody outside of your basic scope, to help you move forward in life with a decision about life, about love, relationships, whatever your problems may be, please consider contacting me, Father Al, again with Confessions from the Quarantine, a social service and an advice column that is broadcast every Saturday from 2 o'clock p.m. to 2.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Please click the like, click the share, click the thumbs up, tell as many people about the program as possible. We've helped many people in the past and I'm hopeful that we've helped you in some small way. And if by chance, if you know somebody that may be able to be assisted by watching this program, please send the links to that person or people. We're here to help you out, me and those like you who have been interjecting your comments in the chat line on a regular basis so we've got jody we've got terry we've got paula we've got david thank you all who have interjected your comments in the chat line i greatly appreciate it again later on you're going to see a rebroadcast that has some additional links is the rebroadcast for youtube and instagram shortly after this one you're going to see the rebroadcast on my personal Facebook page that says Al Jones was live at Confession from the Quarantine. In the rebroadcast, you're going to see some additional information, some graphics. You're going to see the QR code, and that's the QR code. When you scan your phone, it will take you to the PayPal page to make a donation to the program to keep the program alive. You're also going to see the theme merchandise link up at the top, the theme merchandise link is www.cafepress.com slash the one that's leading to the right confess the sins so thank you so much thank you so much thank you so much for being a supporter of this program thank you anonymous donor for donating the ashtray again if you want to send something to me hey let me know in advance so i can check the mail so I'll know that something is coming down the pipeline. We've got about 45 seconds left in the program. Thank you so much who have donated to the program thus far. Thank you who have sent me 
cigar related uh, accessories and cigars thank you who have provided a financial contribution and thank you who have thank you to those who have watched this program on a repeated basis so again here with me father al confession from the quarantine a social service and in the vice column broadcast every saturday from 2 o'clock p.m to 2 30 p.m pacific standard time i love you until next week Go in peace.